Hey guys and welcome to the Ravo 7 Tech Channel. Today we will show you how to install a USB 3.0 PCI Express card in your PC. Now it's important to note that there are many different types of USB cards out there and for the purpose of this video we will install the two port USB 3.0 controller adapter card which was sent to us free for review by StarTech. You can find this product online for between 20 and 30 pounds and this card is also backward compatible with older USB devices. Now even before you go out and buy a card it's important to make sure that your PC is no more than 4 years old in order to be able to handle the high speeds. You also need to make sure you have a free PCI slot on your motherboard and my final tip is that you have your PC laid flat down on a surface uh, because this makes the process slightly easier. So now you have everything you need you can now begin the installation. Step 1 is to turn your computer off and remove any peripherals connected to the machine. The next step is to open your PC case and this can usually be done by removing two screws at the back and simply sliding the cover off. You then need to locate a PCI Express slot on your motherboard which should look something like this. Once you have, simply remove the metal cover from the back of your PC case. Next, you must take your PCI card and gently push it into place. You then need to fasten the bracket using a Phillips head screwdriver. Most PC cases come with the necessary screws, but if for some reason you can't find yours then you may be able to pick them up on eBay or in a computer or hardware store. After that you need to connect the card to your power supply. In my case I have a bunch of connectors already attached to the power supply and all I need to do is grab an LP4 Molex connector and simply connect it into the PCI card. Now after making sure everything is connected properly you can close your case and begin the next step. In the box you should also receive a CD you then need to use the CD to install the driver for your USB card in order for you to use it. So if you followed all of these steps, you should now have USB 3.0 capability, giving you transfer speeds of up to 5GB per second. Like I said, other card installations may vary, but most of them follow the general advice I talked about in this video. So thanks for watching, we hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please make sure you like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned to the channel for more technology videos.